All right, I finished checking that camera. Now I'm going into a spot where I actually have two cameras. It's a spot that I've been putting a camera out here for, I'd say three years. It's what I call the tributary crossing. It's where a small stream kind of flows into a smaller river. I've got really good diversity of wildlife at that location as well. Otters, beaver, coyotes, deer, bobcats, weasels, mink, lots of ducks, um, owls. Ooh. So this is coming out in the opening. Lots of tall grass this time of year. see that but there's an old old beaver house it's just kind of decrepit now on the edge of the small stream I don't think there's much water in it it's been dry <clears throat> hopefully there's none of these spiders in here <sighs> I hate those but this is the kind of stuff they like I just put a stick out in front of me <laughs> breaking up the webs it's one thing I just don't care for so here's the stream. Pretty dry this time of year. I think I'm gonna pull one of these cameras. Hasn't been getting much on it. The other one has. I got really nice bobcat kittens last time on the camera. On the other one. And then uh, good otter footage too. I shared some of that. Again, I gotta put together a new compilation. Thick. Just taking the high road. All right. Sorry if my voice is low. <sighs> All right. Coming into it. Oh, my camera is gone. Wow. Someone stole it. The other one's not stolen. That is weird. Bums me out. So, the camera's not stolen. It's here on the ground. I uh, actually just picked it up and looked at it. The SD card's still in it. Got snapped off the base of my uh, uh, holder here. Which I have landowner permission to be here. She's wonderful. Uh, been friends for years. But what's really strange is this had a python cable lock on it and it's gone. So why would you do all this damage, whoever did this, and not take the camera? I can't quite understand. This is a, a quite a mystery. But hopefully the SD card tells me what happened. Let's see, anyway, here's the tributary. This, it's all thick now, but this flows into a, a smaller river. And again, I have another camera just 15 yards away on that tree over there, which I'll be checking. Um, but I'm a little nervous about being here now. If someone's come in here and done this, there's nothing that could have taken that lock off but a human, I and mean, they would have had to cut it. So anyway, at least I got the camera. It's uh, it's muddy. Got some mud on it and debris, but it's, the base is snapped, but it'll still work. I'll have to use straps. No big deal. Anyway, I'm gonna look at that SD card and see what happened.
Okay, so now we know what that was. <laughs> a black bear. I was shocked. This is the other camera. Um, and this one got messed with uh, a while back. And even last check, I thought it was just a raccoon. Because as you can see, it's low here. This is where I get the otters and bobcats. Um, and then over there, that tree, that's where I've had a camera there for three years. I've never gotten a bear. This is southern Maine. So I was kind of shocked to see that. Um, luckily, I got the camera. The big mystery is the cable lock is gone. I looked everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. It's kind of hard to <laughs> look through here, but it's baffling. It, he must have really wanted it and must have chewed through it. I don't know. Um, but he's dragged it off. Hope he's happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad I got the camera back. It's uh, the base is damaged, but it's intact, so it's still usable. I'm going to have to start running bear boxes down here in southern Maine, apparently. But I <laughs> wanted to give the update on that. That was quite the surprise. I'm glad it wasn't uh, a human being. Um, I just don't like thieves. But uh, apparently bears are my... Uh, I guess I'm having fun with them this year. <laughs> we'll just go with that. So I'm going to check this camera, and uh, hopefully I got him on there. But who knows? Uh, let's see what we got on this.